So this is using your existing Android or iOS device as a barcode scanner. Quick demo for you to read barcodes, to read barcodes interacting with the real world from your Android or iOS device. We're going to take a look at a couple barcode scanners here. The first one was actually written by Fernando Rosado during XE4 with for iOS and it makes use of the Zbar SDK. And the code that he has there in his blog will download and run just fine under XE5. So the Zbar SDK, we have a, a header translation that he created here that loads the Zbar.a file. So these files here are deployed with the application. So if we go into our, um, should we select that project? Project deployment. We'll see there's the libzbar.a file and it's set to be deployed with our application. And it's in our... Um, we go to Tools, Explore. We see there's our uh, libzbar.a file. Okay, so that gives us access to the the scanner. And beyond that, the application is really simple. Um, all it does is creates the instance of the zbar code scanner, and then has an event that it finds a barcode and then displays it, and then it sets the frame to the uh, display where it's going to display it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one really quick. So here it is running on my iPad, and when I tap the switch in the lower left, it brings up the barcode scanner, and there we go, it found it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See the the result here, and it has a history down here. Now this one only does the uh, regular UPC type barcodes, it doesn't do the UR codes, or at least doesn't do this big complex monstrosity there. So, oh hey, it did it. There we go, so see we see, this is actually the code, for the Android barcode scanner is displayed in there. So so this one was actually inspired by the work that John Whitham started here. And uh, what it does is it actually uses the zebra crossing library. And this is actually distributed as an app. And thanks to the way Android and Tints work, um, our app's able to talk to this app to get the barcode back. So what I've done is I've taken some of his code here and kind of wrapped it up into a component. And this component has an event that occurs when a barcode is found. So you call on you call scan from the, your application, and then when a, a barcode is found, right here, we get back the barcode string. Okay, so very simple as well. Um, like I said, it's wrapped up as a, as a component so that you can easily use it with your application. One uh, requirement does it does use the uh, app events. And so uh, if you already have app, event regi app events reg service registered on your application, then you want to make sure you call the event in there. So anyway, that's in there. So let's take a look at this one in action. So here it is running on my note three. And there we go. It scanned and got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero off that barcode. Not sure why. BNC disconnected there. So let's see if we can do the big old QR code here. So there we go. It scanned the QR code and got back. There's the code, which again is the code used to call the uh, other app, other intent. So here's that code is right here. And this is the call scan. And all it does is it puts a uh, canary in the clipboard and the clipboard service to make sure that the uh, because it values pass back to the clipboard. And then right here, we create an intent and we say we're calling the zebra processing app and we pass it in what kind of scam we're looking for. So it has some different parameters it takes and then it fires that off. And then when that intent finishes, scanning the barcode, it then calls back to our app, leaving the barcode in the clipboard. So there you go. There's a couple examples of barcode scanners. Eventually, we might look at. Um, or I'm looking at ways to make a cross-platform one that would work on both devices. So you could have one component you could drop down and it would work on both devices, but haven't found a good solution for that yet.